What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Kayla. Yes? Is it, is it your channel? Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kayla and on today's video, I am finally getting our house ready for Christmas. Oh, Finn, hey. Now to be honest, I started this adventure probably about, I don't know, two months ago. We have so many projects on the go, but trying to decide whether we're gonna renovate our basement or make a garage suite. It has been a juggling act. So I haven't gone around to decorating our house, so I'm gonna decorate our tree today and show you how amazing. I'm gonna make it look. And I just noticed that the like tag of this tree skirt, like how tacky is that? It's a new tree skirt. We'll just, just don't look at me right now. Anyway, I'm gonna show you guys all the Christmas decorations that I bought. We're gonna decorate the Christmas tree together and I'll walk through all the steps that I'm gonna take because decorating a Christmas tree is really difficult sometimes. So we're gonna do it together and then it's gonna look amazing. All right, let's go. The first step is I gotta dig out my tree and all of our old Christmas decorations from their hiding spots. The second step is to get the tree set up. All right, I forgot we legit have like the oldest Christmas tree in the world of Christmas trees. They're all separated by like these hooks here, but the hooks are all different colors. So I think what I'm gonna do next is like sort them out by color and see how long they are because they all vary in size. Sorting the tree out by layer and color really helped see where each piece had to go and it didn't take me long to put it together. Okay, admittedly though, this is the scrawniest, saddest tree I've ever seen. <laughs> Pulling the tree branches apart and spreading out the needles gets the step all on its own. This will really add fullness. Trust me, do not skip this step. All right, the next step is I'm gonna put these lights on the tree, but you see these like extra tags. I'm gonna first cut the tags off so you can't see them in the tree. Make sure to have this on the end so that it can plug into the next set. So if you start at the top, make sure that this part is on the end so you can connect it to the rest of the lights. I'm gonna make sure to be really generous with these lights because I want the tree to be really lit up when it's dark out. Once you get the tree up, the next step is adding a tree skirt. I got mine from Blue Claire Home. I'll post a picture of it right here. Super, super cute. So I got the base of the tree done and the lights. My next step is I'm gonna throw all the Christmas decorations on one by one, try to space them out in good areas so that like, it's like even and it's like cohesive. So that's my next step. I'm gonna throw these black ornaments on first. I got these off of Amazon. They came in a pack of 24 of three different sizes and they arrived within one to three weeks. So I didn't wait long to get them. To keep up with the wood theme, I got ornaments that matched like this cabin, these wood stars, and like these mini fox and tree snow globes. I'm really loving the way the tree is looking so far. Everything looks so well placed. I try not to put too many of the same colors together. Just get like a really well balanced look. This one actually turns on and lights up. Let me just, there you go. A little added light there. Just gonna leave that one on. Now some of these decorations did break off here up at the top. I got some extra twine here and we're just gonna use it to connect them. I just got it from Michael's the craft store. I'm just gonna cut like a bigger piece of it. The bigger the better. That's what she said. Anyway, so you're just gonna Make it a, a length that you think is acceptable. I mean, an average ornament length. Okay, don't judge me. Now I'm gonna put all these snowflakes on top. They do have little pieces where you can hang them, but I'm just gonna throw them on. Time to put on the bead of garland and then the burlap and then we'll be almost done. It looks amazing, but I'm gonna turn the lights on so you can see a little bit better. Okay, that is much better. So on point, like all the right colors, it looks stunning. All right, okay, now we're gonna put the wood beads on. I'm gonna add two different sizes of garland. This one I actually really like 
but there wasn't enough at the store. So then I ended up just getting this one, which is like a little bit longer and a little bit darker. It's really going to bring in all the different types of wood and all the different colors together. So I'm going to add two. I'm going to start slow and then just try and to really create and keep that twirl effect all the way going around. I'm going to start at the top. And then this is the burlap that I got for around the tree. I think I'd want to cut it in half because it seems to be a little bit thick. Let's see how it goes. This is what I have to deal with every day. He's such a dude. Look at this guy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up at the top here. The good thing about this burlap is that you can't even really tell that I cut it. It kind of adds to that like rustic look. So the way that I've intricately woven it in the tree, you can kind of like mask how I've cut it down the middle there. The last little step here is to finish off the Christmas tree area and to make this area look ready for the holiday season and taking pictures and all that jazz. So you'll see that I have put two things so far, a blanket ladder that I had made and painted white and then also this white mirror here behind. This mirror I actually got from HomeSense and I had Devin just hang it up last week. What I like about it the most is that having this mirror be here helps like show the mantle behind. So when I finally get around to like making that look nice, like a double whammy of cute Christmas, got like the tree and then the mantle, so. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle down below. I'll see you guys on the next one.